Now we're very excited to have the opportunity to go overseas. It's the first time in our program's history that we've had this opportunity to travel abroad. Uh, we've had uh, nine practices out of the ten that we've been allotted so far. We'll finish today and uh, the team is working extremely hard. Uh, it's given us an opportunity to see our young players, uh, our freshmen for the first time, got an early look, which is great. Uh, but this opportunity really uh, is more about uh, the bigger picture too for our players. We have an opportunity to visit our campus in Rome um, and, and spread our mission uh, uh, being able to help those in need and you know there's some midnight runs so we've got some good community service things we're going to do overseas um, and, and being able to visit uh, the campus over there will be great along with all the landmarks we're going to see and then also we get to go to Spain which is the home of Crystal Simmons who's one of our freshmen uh, from Madrid so uh, she's extremely excited I think it's probably one of the first opportunities um, a kid from Madrid has had to come back and play in their hometown uh, with the university from the, uh, from the U.S. So um, her family is very excited. She's excited. Uh, we also understand that we are representing not only our university, but, but our country as well when we go over there. So we will be looking to um, make sure that we are competing as, uh, at, at the higher standard that we can. Um, so th this really has been, a, it's been a, an anxious time as we're ready to leave. And I think our players will probably give you that, uh, that feeling as well. So... We cannot wait to uh, board up and, and, and get over there tomorrow. And I believe our first game is on Monday um, against the Dutch national team. So it should be very exciting for us. All right, we'll have enough questions. So, yeah, Joe, what is the competition like of Division One caliber? And what are you kind of expecting in terms of uh, what kind of test you'll get? Uh, you know what? I've, I've been told that uh, we should see some pretty competitive games. I think we're going to see just a different style than probably we're used to as far as um, how they play over there, and plus the different rules, the different ball. Um, those are all adjustments we have to make. Uh, so I think that the competition should be very good as far as what I'm told. Um, you know, we've had 10 practices. They've probably practiced for a long time together. So it should be a great test for us uh, as we head over there. I know that um, we did see some of the Dutch national team players uh, when uh, uh, we saw some film on one of their games uh, for one of the championships over the summer. But uh, that wasn't their actual team. So... I, I don't know how much we'll uh, really be able to prepare. We'll do the best we can. And then it's really more about what we're doing and about us and trying to improve. So uh, we're going to focus on that aspect. Now, what would be a really successful, what would you love to say at the end of this when you come back on the plane? And, and uh, what would be some good, some, some things you'd say, you know what, we did this, this, this was awesome? Well, I think for our players, just to have the opportunity to, to go to places they've never been and may not have an opportunity to go to again. So for me, that's a, a big thing, being able to see different, um, different countries, different cultures, um, being able to celebrate some of the, uh, the great landmarks that you have all over the world. Uh, and then also being able to play competitive games, but coming back healthy and having fun. That's pretty much what I want to be able to come back with. We want to be competitive, but I want to make sure that we uh, um, take the right steps. And I said, enjoy the process of what we're doing. Don't worry about, you know, the scores. I'm, I'm more concerned about our process as we're getting better, uh, as we're improving as a team, as we're getting acclimated as a group. Um, because this year was the, uh, you know, one of the reasons why we wanted to do this was because we had four young ladies coming in for a freshman for the first time, which was the biggest class for me as a head coach, um, and try and get them used to what uh, they're going to expect from me, what they're going to expect from their teammates. So uh, I would love to be able to smile, be back here, and have uh, 10 healthy players. How difficult has it been only having 10 practices before going on a trip like this? Uh, you know what, it's been, uh, it's been very difficult. You try to figure out what you want to kind of work on and what you want to be able to put in. But uh, you know what, it's been a, uh, a good experience to the standpoint that our players have been very good in, in the fact that over the summer they've worked very hard. So our returners are, um, you know, in a really good place. Uh, our freshmen are now uh, acclimated, getting better and, and, and feeling better. But now it's more of them getting used to my style and getting used to what we want to put in. And, uh, as much as given us an opportunity uh, to put things in, uh, we also have to have patience. And, and I think that's another big part of uh, what I've stressed to our coaching staff is to be patient with them and to get them to understand that, yeah, you're going to make mistakes, we know that, uh, but let's, let's continue to get better, uh, be better than we were the day before, be better than we were on the last possession, uh, and really just start to play the way that we're going to want to during the year. Um, so it's taken a lot of preparation, it's taken a lot of patience, 
and uh, and also an understanding from our players doing extra work on their own as far as sets or plays and watching film. So they've been doing that. They've been ferocious with, with the film. They've been ferocious in the weight room and on the floor. So uh, today will be the wrap up and, and we'll head over there. Yeah, everything. Uh, I mean, yeah, we uh, like we said, we had nine practices, so uh, you know we're really um, you know we're focused on being better defensively as a group and the, and the communication piece when you've added when you add four new pieces into a team, uh, you know. So we're we're really uh, stressing uh, you know transition defensively, rebounding the ball, taking care of the basketball, the things that we've put as the cornerstones of our of our teams and of our program. So. Uh, those are things that we stress for them and we've got to get better at and those will be really uh, the points of emphasis as we go over there and I think uh, at the same time uh, we want to make sure we have fun and do all the, all the things we can as well um, so I, I think that if you ask me we got to work on everything some days I think we're pretty good and other days uh, not so much yeah I mean we're going to do what we've been doing I think uh, we recruit the type of players to our program that we think are going to be successful and that's why they're here uh, we also will lean on those who have been here. Um, so Amber Thompson and, and Aaliyah Hanford and Tanisha Grant, uh, you know, those guys are going to be the forces as we watch Jade Walker emerge again and Aaliyah Lewis now, uh, who have a year under their belt uh, to help us. And Selena Archer is going to have to give us, you know, quality minutes uh, when, she's, when she's able to get in. So uh, the four freshmen are not afraid, I can tell you that. I think they're excited to play. That's the one good thing I think that we've seen from them. They're, they're not timid at all. Um, they certainly need to be uh, to, to work on some things and develop their game, uh, but we've got to find a way to acclimate them. So it's going to be fun to be able to try different lineups and try different things with them and see kind of where they are. And there's the first chance we're going to see them, you know, with their feet to the fire, so to speak, and put the lights on and see how they play. So I'm really interested to see how they react um, as we go over there. As you're going to do 13, want Marquette, DePaul, now St. John's, all doing their international tours this summer. What does this do for the conference? How much does this elevate this conference now? I mean, I think it gives us an opportunity to, to showcase the Big East, as well, and that's really important for us. I think that uh, when you see teams have the opportunity to go overseas, I think it just um, shows uh, potential student athletes, uh, you know, the, the type of uh, commitment that the programs have in our league. Um, the type of uh, coaches, the type of administrator, uh, administrators who will give us the <laughs> give us the chance to get over there. Um, coaches not being afraid to go over there, but also giving them opportunity to, to see different things. Um, and I think the bigger piece as far as away from the basketball, as I've said, is being able to see different cultures, see different places. Um, and I know our players are excited, but for our league, it's always important. And I think when you look around the country, uh, you'll see a number of teams that go overseas and um, you know, we feel that this gives us an opportunity again to get a head start. So you've got three teams now that have had some, some good practice time in the summer that will hopefully prepare us uh, to be better early, which will be important in our non-conference schedule. Um, and I think it gives us an opportunity to celebrate women's basketball in the Big East, uh, not only here, but overseas as well. Uh, Joe, maybe the toughest thing you have to replace is, is the leadership of, of what you graduated. Did you can't name captains yet? or? Or uh, do, what do you want to see maybe from that standpoint, uh, I mean, if this is going to be a much younger group that you've had? Yeah, I haven't named one yet. Uh, you know, we, we're in the process of doing that. We have, we have who we think uh, we want in mind, uh, but I've given them this summer to show me who's going to really step to the forefront uh, and be that consistent leader. Uh, I can tell you that it's got to come from the group of Amber Thompson, Denasia Grant, and Lee Hanford. Um, so depending on uh, what I see over you know the course of the summer, we're going to decide on that. But uh, I will tell you that those three have been very good for us. Uh, they've been very consistent, uh, and I think that that's going to be a big piece as they've kind of had that torch handed to them. And I don't think it's any one person. I think all of our players have to be uh, you know leaders in their own way. Uh, but also they just got to make sure that. Uh, we're all going toward the same goal and, and becoming a better team and preparing for the season. But uh, that, that group of upperclassmen um, will be the, the group that we will look at, uh, whether we decide it's a leadership council, if it's a captain or whatever we want to call it. Um, they will be the ones that will not only show us how, you know, how good we can be uh, by their own play, uh, but also how good we're going to be as a team and how tight we're going to be as a team. And this is a trip that really uh, helps that team building piece. And I think uh, that's another important aspect of this 
opportunities to be able to be together with them uh, over time. For your new players, um, I guess how much time are you expecting for them to see with this trip? Uh, I guess what are you what are you hoping for from them? Uh? Yeah, I think for our freshmen, I think it's going to be a great opportunity for the for them to show us what they've got. I mean, they're going to play probably as many minutes, um, you know, as their upperclassmen because it's just going to have to be out of necessity. Our bench is going to pretty much be four freshmen uh, and one senior, so uh, they're going to get an opportunity whether they like it or not, or whether they're ready or not. So. Uh, you know, we need them to be able to contribute. We need them to be able to contribute early. And um, I want to make sure that we try to manage that as well and as best as we can uh, over time, too. So we've got four games in a matter of 12 days. Uh, we'll try to manage it as best we can. And we play right away on Monday, so I'm hoping our bodies will feel okay. Uh, and then we flip and turn around and, and I think play a very competitive game against the uh, Adriatic Sea Sirens, I believe they're called, um, out in uh, Pizarro. So, I mean, the, the, there's going to be some... Uh, some time where we're going to see uh, how they're going to react in those situations, the young ones. So, I, and I think they'll be ready. Um, you know, and, and as a young player, you're always going to hesitate. You're going to, you know, you may not be sure. Um, but, but these kids have been pretty fearless in, in what they're doing. Uh, but this gives us a great opportunity to, to have a game, break things down, be able to show them in a real life experience that actually matters—not a scrimmage, but a game. Uh, where you can give them different examples of where we got to get better.